for the Charger one. Uh, the the I heard the other ones aren't as um, fun as Chase versus Chandra. I hear Most, you have to play Chase versus Chandra uh, under the old rules also for it to be a fair matchup. Really? Because the way that no uh, combat damage on the stack changes morph changes the matchup a lot. Oh, I can see that because uh, Fathom Seer isn't quite as good if it can't deal two. It can't, if it can't be a two three. Yeah. But I usually usually just play Bath Fathom Seer as a one three for two, and you, we would win. But um, yeah, Burn to fourteen tender gets in there for one. Okay, so it's eighteen nineteen. Yep. Stole your thunder. I could kind of hear the, the judge. Oh. Did, did you notice that? Did you get here to judge too? You were still in my thunder a couple of times. I didn't say anything. Well. Well, now you know. Yeah. The more you know. Thanks to all all of you guys for dealing with our banter. All right. So we have a price of progress at the end of the turn. That's going to have Aaron sacrifice his uh, wasteland to get uh, rid of his own. So he takes zero control. from that. I don't know. I think I think taking four would have been fine. At 18, maybe. Especially with a bunch of good cards in hand. But I guess uh, he already has he has two other Tundra in his hand, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, Aaron gets in for three. Dropping Joe down to 16. Joe, Joe's got a handful of burn. It's two mana, and Aaron plays a Jotun Grunts. This Jotun Grunts currently will only survive one upkeep. But I have to believe that um, Joe's going to play another spell to put four cards into his graveyard to make it survive one more upkeep. Yeah, that Magma Jet ties it up at 16 apiece. Yeah. Cards in play for Aaron Wayne. Is one bear to force tender, a knight of the white or orchid, and a Jotun grunts. Um, two planes and a tundra, whereas Joe only has three mountains. But in hand, he has a fire blast, a lightning bolt that he just cast. Uh, I'm not sure what the other two cards were. Grim uh, Lavamancer was on top. Lightning bolt. People are asking for the lasers. We only use the lasers for cards like uh, Rift Bolt and uh, like and um, what's the other one? The three damage uh, arcane spell. Uh, glacial ca glacial ray. That uh, thing only does two damage. I don't know what you're talking. About. Oh, oh, lava spike. Yeah, lava spike. Because we need to be sure of where those lava spikes are going. You're uh, charging your laser. Yeah. Looks like uh, Swords of Pleasure is going to try to. Take out and successfully take out from Lava Mancer. Oh, way out. His, his, remo his exile zone is way off the mat. That guy is not coming back into this battlefield or <laughs> hand. It's, he's just gone. All right, so on the bottom goes two cards to pay for Yoden Grunt's um, cumulative upkeep. Yon Grunts, a 4-4, came up upkeep to uh, put two cards from any graveyard, any one graveyard in the bottom of um, that, of its um, owner's library. And, you know, it's basically packets of two that you can split up around graveyards, but each two needs to be from the same graveyard. They can do two from yours and two from your opponents, but not one and one. Joe takes seven here, dropping him down to ten life. There's and a mother, rune is, mother of Runes is added to the board. Yet another mother of runes. Judge confirmed the life change. I think the one player forgot about Swords of Posture is gaining a show of life. So we're going to have an end of turn uh, price of progress. It's going to be four damage. Uh, Aaron's thinking about. Dazing it. It's gonna daze the price of progress. The voice take it four again. Rift bolt drawn for Joe. It's gonna get suspended and, and smash the smithereens just sitting in Joe's hand. Yep, and we we're charging up our lasers. We're just charging them. Just charging them. <laughs> And 
now Aaron's going to pay for Jokengrud for the second turn. Oops. Okay, Aaron Wayne is instructing Joe which card goes on top, which I don't, which he actually doesn't get to pick. Joe gets to pick uh, oh, really? what order. Yeah, whenever cards change zones to like a hidden zone, like your library, the, um, the owner of those cards. Oh, Aaron is, has been doing that all day, actually. I didn't know that rule. Maybe the judge over there will know. I mean, not really that big of a deal. Which ones go on top? Because so we're not going to get we're not going to get that part into the game. All right. So Yoden grunts lives another turn and gets to attack for four. So we're going in there for four, five, six, seven. Dropping Joe down, presumably three life, maybe two. If Aaron gets in there with Mother of Runes. I don't know why he keeps holding back this Mother of Runes. It's like he's not really afraid of... If Burn hits one of his creatures, like, he's just gaining life. He's fine with that. Exactly. Uh, this is game three. If Aaron wins this match, he'll have won at three games to zero. Basically. Three games to zero? Yeah. We're not going to mention game one. It didn't happen. Did he punt or something? It was pretty. It was pretty bad, and we got a bolt into Aaron Wayne's face. So lightning bolt drawn for Joe. So he's got lightning bolt, smash the smithereens, and fire blast in hand. Fire blast in hand, right? That is a fire blast. Yep. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's technically ten damage. Unfortunately, there's no target for the. Smash the smithereens. Plus, uh, Aaron's got the burnt and forged thunder, so I don't think I see Joe winning this well, Watch them drop a GTA just to get greedy. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be pretty greedy. Yeah, I mean, has he seen Smash the smithereens from him yet? Has not. Oh, God. I, I have a bad feeling about it. I mean, Aaron still has the burnt and forged thunder, yeah. so. Yeah, what is he at? He's at 10 life, so it's exact. Yeah, so. It's axes. So the bolt, tar bolt targeted the um, Knight of the White Orchid. And it wasn't Mother of Runes. And Joe scoops him up. So Aaron wins the game, wins the match two games to one, and is now the first player in the Star City Games Open to have two buys to the Star City Games Invitational here in Richmond on December 3rd through 5th. He's, he's got 30 points. He's got a big lead over, he's I don't know who's the next person. I think it's Tom Ross. Is that Tom Ross in second place? Not sure exactly how many points. Does he have 20? Um, he may have 20. two points behind him. Before this event started, I believe. Uh, oh, well, I'm not sure, but Aaron Wayne has 30, so Tom Ross may have 20. I put him at 24. Yeah, I so, need to so, win. I need to catch up in this race. So remember, guys, that uh, if you get you know 10 points, if you top four, any of these StarCityGames.com open see if events, this other match where they're at. Um, you'll you'll be able to qualify for the Star City Games Invitational. And although many people are offering cash tournaments this year, StarCityGames.com open places open events are the only places where you can earn the Invitational points and qualify for the Invitational. So be sure to check out every single one of the Star City Games Open events. If you can't attend them, check them out here at gg'slive.com or check out the coverage at starcitygames.com. And of course, if you need any cards, if you want to sell some of your cards, be sure to check out starcitygames.com. That was a nice little plug. So, uh, Colossal Fuentes, back in the studio. You won your last round, so you're, you're I'm in th it? I should be in eighth, unless the guy got paired down, I then I'll be seventh. Okay, so but you're definitely in top eight. I'm... I'm 85% sure I'm in top eight. Like, here are the pairings. Did you look at any of the standings? No. Nope. Remember, I was here saying, nah, who cares? Exactly. So let's go back to our cute Phyllis's. We've got the, the, here are the standings before this round, so you can look to see where you are. My breaks were ridiculous, I remember. Uh, so here are the people that are 22 that drew. Got out. Exode after I beat him. He's so And there's sick. you. You've got the highest breakers of the 18 pointers. You've got 68%. So. Uh, hold one time. Uh, what'd you play against this round? Uh, Agrolom, the guy, the guy who, uh, I got paired down, or up, I got paired up, and uh, I beat him. Jer uh, Jeremy Tibetsu got featured, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. I, uh, I dropped the Progenitus and went to his dome. Progenitus is pretty good. Game two and three. I hear. Game, well, game three, the Agrolom deck got mana screwed. That's kind of awkward. You only really 